MassTutor.biz and MassDVDs.co.uk Higher Mathematics Lesson 17, Part 4 We're going to be solving linear equations where there's unknowns on both sides of the equation So here's an example where we've got unknowns on both sides of the equation We've got 5x over this side and we've got 2x over that side it's down to the balancing. As long as we do the same thing to both sides of the equation, then we can't go wrong. Preferably doing something useful. So what would be useful here? It would be useful if all the x information was on the left and there was none on the right. So what I'm going to do is subtract 2x from that side. Because if I do that, I'll be left with just 11. But if I do it to that side of the equation, I must do it to this side. 5x minus 2x is 3x. We've still got that plus 2. Now we can carry on as before. Let's subtract 2 from both sides. And now divide both sides by 3. Solving equations can be a bit like a game of chess. If you can think about what's going to happen after your next move, maybe you might consider a different move would be better. Let's approach this the same way as I did the last one and say I'll subtract 4y from both sides and the result will be all the y information on the left which is its normal place. I'll be left with 11 over there 1y minus 4y is minus 3y. The result is I've got a negative unknown which is not a good idea. It's not the easiest thing to work with. So the first thing I'll now do is add 3y to both sides. Now although that approach, there's nothing wrong with it, just maybe a different approach would have been better. So let's write down the question again. And this time I'll consider collecting all the y information on the right hand side rather than the left hand side. And I'll subtract y from both sides. Because if I subtract y from this side, I'll be left with 2. If I subtract y from this side, I'll be left with exactly the same thing as i got there. So possibly that's better. doesn't matter. I've still got to continue in the same way by subtracting 11 from both sides now. Which will leave me with 3y there and minus 9 there. Dividing both sides by 3, this will cancel, leaving me with minus 3 equals y, or y equals minus 3. So let's think ahead about this one. I want to get either all of the A information on the left, or all of the A information on the right. So I could add 4A to both sides what would be the result? I'd be left with 3 over here and I'd be left with minus 3a over there. However, if I consider adding 7a to both sides, I think this approach is better because that cancels leaving me with 5. This will be minus 4a plus 7a which is the same as 7a minus 4a which is 3a plus 3a. Now I need to subtract 3 from both sides which will leave me with just 3a and then divide both sides by 3. So I think thinking ahead was worthwhile. Should I do that or should I do that? Which is the best approach? I just could still end up with the right answer if I had done add 4a to both sides. Now what about this one? Well, if you see a bracket, get rid of it. That's quite a good opening gambit. If you see a bracket, get rid of it. It will always work. It may not be the best idea, but it will always work. So 3 times b, 3 times 4. In this case, it is in fact the best idea. Now, what should I do now? Well, if I think ahead, 
I'll appreciate if I subtract 3B from both sides. It will leave me with 4B minus 3B. It will leave me with plus 1B over that side. So, I could have subtracted 4B from, 4B from both sides, but I chose to subtract 3B from both sides. I hope you'll see why. Now I'll add 8 to both sides. And I'll write the answer around the other way because it's normal. C brackets. Get rid of them. Always a good idea. 5 times C. 5 times 2. 2 times 8. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. So 2 times minus 3C is minus 6C. What shall I do? I could add 6C to both sides or I could subtract 5C from both sides. I think the obvious is add 5C to both sides. Add 6C to both sides. And in doing so I'll be left with 16 over there. 11C plus 10 there. Now I'll subtract 10 from both sides. And lastly divide both sides by 11. And the last one. See a bracket. Get rid of it. Two sixes and two fours. What should I do? I'm going to add 8D to both sides. So first of all I'll add 8D to that side and I'll add 8D to that side. I can see that this is going to cancel leaving me with 12. 5D plus 8D is 13D minus 4. Now we'll add 4 to both sides and that will give us 16 there and 13D there. Last move Subtract so both sides by 13. Give me the answer of D equals 16 over 13. Which, if you like, you can change to 1 of 3 thirteenths. So that was Lesson 17, Part 4.